السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه ومن والاه Dear brothers and sisters, Alhamdulillah, by the grace of Allah, we have completed the recitation of Surah Ali Imran. And now we have begun reciting Surah An-Nisa. And in Surah An-Nisa is a beautiful ayah. Within this ayah, there is a phrase. It is definitely one of my most favorite phrases from the Holy Quran, and I would like to share that with you. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, بعد أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم كذلك كنتم من قبل فمن الله عليكم كذلك كنتم من قبل فمن الله عليكم This is how you used to be in the past and now Allah has blessed you and this works to humble each and every one of us, to bring us some humility, some reflection on our humble beginnings. For instance, the time when we didn't have so much knowledge, and then Allah has blessed us with opportunities of learning. We must, one must never reflect or look back on someone in a negative way, in a demeaning way, in a belittling way, if they don't have as much knowledge as you? If Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has t taken you from poverty to riches, don't look down on people that are not doing as well as you are doing today. And remember when you had two dollars in your pocket. If you were weak, physically and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave you strength and now mashallah you're a bodybuilder and you have ideal weight and ideal that don't forget the times when you weren't those who are educated don't belittle those who don't have the education and remember when you didn't have this much education in the past this ayah helps me check myself and I would like to have it do the same for all of us. When you see someone not at your level, at whatever level you're measuring at or may be looking at, remember, كَذَلِكَ كُنْتُمْ مِنْ قَبْلِ This is how you used to be in the past. فَمَنَّ اللَّهُ عَلَيْكُمْ Then Allah today has blessed you. So the blessings that you and I are enjoying is not from because we are smart or because we're clever or because we deserve it or like Qarun said أُتِتُهُ عَلَىٰ عِلْمٍ عندي, or it's because I am knowledgeable and I was able to obtain whatever it is that, I'm, that I have obtained. It is because of Allah. And Please remember this. Today as we are trying to encourage family members to get up for Fajr or to go for Salatul Taraweeh or to read more Quran, I'm not telling you not to do this, but I'm telling you to do it with some empathy. To do it with some empathy. Empathy meaning you feel what that person is feeling. You go back in time and remember when you were a teenager or when you were at whichever level and now you deal with others from that perspective. And it brings humility in the way we deal with each other and in the way we view each other. This is one of my favorite phrases in the Holy Quran and it is in Surah An-Nisa which will be recited insha'Allah ta'ala. Remember this every time you see someone or something that gives, makes you remember your humble beginnings or a time in past. وَكَذَلِكَ كُنْتُمْ مِنْ قَبْلُ فَمَنَّ اللَّهُ عَلَيْكُمْ Brothers and sisters, our beloved brother Iyad al-Sabbagh, his brother um, contracted COVID and passed away. And we are going to make dua for him. 
and for all of our brothers and sisters who have passed away in faith before us, and for all those who are sick, that Allah give them shifa. Please join me. La ilaha illallah al-halim al-kareem, subhanallah rabbil arsh al-azim, alhamdulillah rabbil alameen. اللهم صل على محمد وعلى آل محمد كما صليت على إبراهيم وعلى آل إبراهيم وبارك على محمد وعلى آل محمد كما باركت على إبراهيم وعلى آل إبراهيم في العالمين إنك حميد مجيد اللهم ارحم موتانا وموت المسلمين اللهم اغفر لهم وارحمهم وعافهم واعف عنهم وتجاوز عن سيئاتهم ووسع مدخلهم وأكرم نزلهم وارفع درجاتهم ونقهم من الذنوب والخطايا كما ينقى الثوب الأبيض من الدنس وارحمنا اللهم إذا صرنا إلى ما صاروا إليه اللهم اجعل روحه في عليين مع النبيين والصديقين والشهداء والصالحين وحسن أولئك رفيقا وارحمنا اللهم إذا صرنا إلى ما صار إليه اللهم اغفر لحينا وميتنا وشاهدنا وغائبنا وصغيرنا وكبيرنا وذكرنا وأنثانا اللهم من أحييته منا فأحيه على الإسلام ومن توفيته منا فتوفه على الإيمان برحمتك يا حنان يا منان ربنا اغفر لنا ولإخواننا الذين سبقونا بالإيمان ولا تجعل في قلوبنا غلا للذين آمنوا ربنا إنك رؤوف رحيم اللهم اجعل خير أيامنا أواخرها وخير أعمالنا خواتمها واختم لنا بلا إله إلا الله محمد رسول الله واشف اللهم مرضانا ومرضى المسلمين وعاف مبتلانا يا أرحم الراحمين اللهم إنا نعوذ بك من جميع الأمراض اللهم إنا نعوذ بك من البرص والجذام والجنون وسيء الأسقام ربنا آتنا في الدنيا حسنة وفي الآخرة حسنة وقنا عذاب النار اللهم يا فارج الهم ويا كاشف الغم فرج اللهم هم المهمومين في كل مكان ونفس كرب المكروبين في كل مكان وأصلح أحوالنا وأحوال المسلمين في كل مكان واشف اللهم مرضانا ومرضى المسلمين في كل مكان وصل اللهم وسلم وبارك على نبينا وحبيبنا محمد وعلى آله وأصحابه أجمعين قوموا إلى صلاتكم ورحمة